Hi, welcome to Vape and Bake. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Ego T. I ordered this here recently, just got it in about a week ago. Been vaping on it quite a bit since then. I decided that I wanted to move up from the traditional electronic cigarettes, which still work great. I still use the hell out of them. But I wanted to get my first mod. So I decided, here we go, the Joy Ego T. The T stands for tank because it has a tank system in it. So we're going to run through some of the pros, cons, whatever you want to talk about. They've made them better than before. Apparently before the Ego T's had a really bad rep for a lot of leaking issues, a lot of just being crappy all in general. So they stepped up their game, excuse me. So what I did is I went to Vapor Crave, is that right? Double check that before I start. Yep, Vapor Crave, that's where I got. I saw a bunch of reviews on YouTube, one of them in particular. This woman told told us where she got it from, how much she paid, and it just seemed really reasonable, really cool, so I checked it out. They're a very reputable uh, company. So I got it really quick. I mean, they were super fast on their shipping. Everything was pretty easy to get through. So here's what I ended up getting. I got the 1000 Ma uh, USB battery, which I'll take that apart and show you right off the bat. So it looks like that's so this, my friends, is your battery. This right here is a standard, just in case you wanted to see size difference and blah, 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 blah. So there you have it. There's the Joy logo right here at the end, silver. The only light that lights up is whenever you trigger your atomizer. So I kind of miss this right here, but at least I have a cool light there. So that's your battery. Uh, lasts a very good long time. I can only assume I haven't had to charge it you know, yet. So it's been rocking and rolling. Uh, it is a three-piece system. Like I said I wanted to get a mod. So this is my first mod. So right here is your atomizer. It's got the Ego T logo on it right there. Can auto focus. Okay. Anyways, so there's the connector for it. The atomizer part right is right there. On the inside, there's actually a needle kind of sticking up. What it does is it punctures your mouthpiece or your tank, I should say. Here's your tank. So it punctures this part right here, and as you take draws up here, it drips some into your atomizer just like that. So it's a, a dripper. So all you gotta do is put it there, close it just like that, screw this in, and it's good to go. Uh, other things that I got with it was, of course, more tanks. They come packaged like this, with the rubber end cap, just like that. So I got five of those. And I bought myself some extra end caps just in case the end caps were coming. I got extras for whatever reason. I know I've got some more over here filled with other goodies. Whenever you first get your tank and you're putting it into your system, most people try to make it look like it's super easy. Me, I'm having to like lay it on the, on the desk and kind of put some oomph into it. So you do that. You twist it. You want to prime it a little bit. This way it drips down in there good. Press your button. Oof, lots of vapor, really clear flavor. Oh, it really shows the flavor in a lot of things. And a wonderful throat hit. You don't have to take too hard of a drag. Uh, you just kind of can't treat it like a cigarette so much to where you're just like hitting the crap out of it. You gotta really just let that vapor come to you. Uh, it, it's a great thing. Another wonderful feature on this thing that I absolutely love is the on off feature. To turn this off, you press it five times. One, two, three, four, and five. You see it blinks just like that, and it's off. So if you got it in your pocket and you're hitting it, it's not going to fire. You're not going to burn out your atomizer, none of that stuff. To turn it back on, same thing. It blinks, lets you know you're good to go. That's real good. That tank is almost empty, but that's really good. I've got uh, coffee in here right at the moment. I think it's mocha. Yeah, it's mocha. I'm going to do a review on this stuff. But it's some real good stuff. I've tried several different types of flavors, and it really brings out that flavor in there. The other thing that really sold me on this kit, the other thing that really sold me on it, I don't know if all of them are like that, but I made sure that this one was. Here at the end, you take it and unscrew it. And then you have this little part right here for USB. Oh, no, it's not focusing. Right, cool. 
And then it comes with a USB cord. You plug it in, just like so. And this cable is really good, really long. I mean, most cords that you'll get with companies are really short. This one is great, so you got some wonderful length on it. You plug it in and it charges your Ego, just like that. The thing I'm talking about that really gets me going is you can plug it up while it's charging. And you have a pass-through, just like that. And I absolutely love pass-throughs. So there's my take on uh, the Joy Ego T. Uh, also, the atomizer that I have is low resistance. I recommend that you get that. I really recommend that that's all you get for these things. Don't get the regular stuff. Get the low resistance. They will rock your world. This thing definitely does. So there you have it, folks. It's a wonderful product. Vape and bake.